Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. And this is the Blue Krishna by Manly P. Hall. An article from the All Seeing Eye, Volume 1, Number 1, May 1923. The Blue Krishna. In picturing the Christ child of India, Sri Krishna, the Blue Lotus, we find that he is always painted as having a blue skin. Now let us consider briefly the reason for this rather unusual symbolism. Why the Lord of Love, playing upon his flute with Radha in the woods, is always colored with this bluish light, has caused considerable speculation among students of occult philosophy. The reason for this is said to be that blue is the symbol of the Father, the highest of the three primary colors. All great spiritual workers are said to be under the protection of the Father or, as the East would say, enfolded in the Cape of Brahma. This blue spiritual wall which divides the Great Ones from men is symbolized by the Oriental by coloring the body of Krishna, the incarnation of Vishnu, the second principle of the Indian Trinity, a pale blue. Briefly, it is said to mean that between that soul and the world there was forever a wall, and that while Krishna came to the world, he was not of the world, but belonged to the home of the gods. This beautiful symbolism applies to the problems of life. There are many who are in the world, and while apparently they are one with us, still they know, and we often feel that there is a wall between us. This is the wall of spirit the wall of greater light and truth which spiritually divides the living from the dead. Those who come to us from behind the veil still wander with us, but the blue veil of spirit conceals them. The blue light of spirit shines out from their being, and while they labor with us, they are concealed forever behind the blue veil of immortality. Each will one day step behind this veil, and the blue folds of the Father's cape will stand between us and the world as protection and relief. Then we too shall labor in the world concealed forever and divided from mortal man by the blue veil of Krishna, the blue lotus of India. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.